I'm not sure if you're going to survive today, <laughs> but we have to eat as much as we can. I'm actually glad I'm not driving. It's totally white out. There it is. Look. Have you seen the fox? Okay. Hi. There's a lot of snow this year on Svalbard. That is bad news for the reindeer, but good news for the fox. So we're going to check out the carcass of our reindeer and hopefully some foxes will be there. Fingers crossed. Perfect condition to photograph some fox. So let's see. Sit here and wait. See if the fox comes back. Could be anywhere, so. We see a fox, maybe a kilometer away, running away from us, but that's okay. It had a radio collar around the neck, so not a pretty sight. But hopefully, hopefully there will be another fox. But it's so nice to see the fox again. Waiting time again. New day on the snowmobile, and here comes Otger, take us out again. What's the plan today? Okay. Well, yeah, let's see. Uh, we never know before we are heading out, actually. But uh, the plan is to go to an area called Elvenesse today, and uh, see if we can find more of the reindeers and the foxes, and also some ptarmigans. In that area, we had also polar bears. For uh, oh. for a week, half a week right. ago. So um, let's see. Oh. Let's see. Good condition. Perfect condition today. Flat. Yes. Lovely light for photography. Perfect.
turn again. Just up the hill. So hopefully we'll be there when we come up. A steep slope. Very steep. Really nice. It's further up the mountain. Det var magisk. Okay, er vi klar? Det er I'm actually glad I'm not driving. It's totally white out. It's so hard to see when you're driving. We just had a stop here for lunch. Not just lunch, but we also hope to see more ptarmigans, but I hope to see the fox in this area here. We also thought there may, might be some polar bears along the sea here, so... But 
unfortunately no bears and no foxes but that can change no time again but what a beautiful place with open sea just in front of me here <sighs> really really nice but first some lunch and then look for animals and birds kan ju också se att det och vi vurderar ju snart att vi det är ganska ganska sån harsh här så att vi måste snart kanske gräva ner snöen här och ja. bit i nästa dag och sånt ting ta nog den ja. det är den <laughs> soon we have to dig ourselves into the snow it's really bad weather here and i'm not sure if we're going to survive today but we have to eat as much as we can <sighs> hurry on Another time again. <laughs> I'll never get enough of that beautiful bird. Now it's snowing as well. So I lost them. I'm not sure where they are, but I'm still going to, to try. Oh, this snow is so deep here. <sighs> nice. My plan is to get the bird in totally white out so you get only the black on the eye and the beak showing so there is definitely possibilities of that where is it okay let's go up the hill How great is this? Totally white out and the ptarmigan is like really blending into the environment but I'm overexposing so I get that like high key pictures with only the black beak and some of the, the black feathers in their eyes and the best thing of all it's not even afraid as long as I'm laying here flat not moving too much I cannot wish for more 
in the middle of nowhere in Svalbard photographing ptarmigans in the winter. Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> nice. The male, the male, the male. Ptarmigan in Svalbard is a subspecies of the rock ptarmigan in mainland and this is 40% larger than the mainland bird. This is the only bird that lives in Svalbard all year round and you find it only in Svalbard in a small part in Russia. The Latin name for the ptarmigan is Lagopus and that means hare foot and you can actually see that on a foot walking on the snow with a lot of feathers. It's so much easier for them to walk on snow with those large foots. Now it's time to leave them alone. Best time ever. Oh, nice. I'm so happy. Okay, let's go back. They are probably sick and tired of me laying here in the snow. Well, what are they waiting? Let's go back. All right. Uh, hello? Do you speak English? No? Have you seen the fox? Okay. Hi. This was our last chance of seeing and photographing the fox. Unfortunately, we didn't get too much opportunities with the fox. But anyway, I'm so happy what I got. And I cannot wait to go back here.